The answer to your question is it. Excuse me, can you go back in the queue, please? Assalamu alaikum. I, I'm a Muslim. Uh, we Muslims call Hazrat Isa Islam, and here's a lot of Christians, they call Jesus Christ. I think it's important for me to request you that could you let the audience know here, including Christian and Muslim, what was the religion of Jesus Christ and what did he taught? Did he taught Islam or was he was Muslim or non-Muslim? Thank you. Thank you. The question was, of course, you heard, what was the religion of Jesus? The religion of Jesus was Islam. The religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of all true prophets of God is Islam. Because with Allah, there is only one religion. He says, Inna dina in the Allah al-Islam. Most certainly the religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. If you want a religion other than Islam, so Allah will not accept it from you. From you. And you will be of the losers. Anything else other than Islam? So I said, now the religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of Jesus was Islam. The religion of speech by Muhammad was Islam. It was nothing but Islam. And the proof of that is, you ask the Jew. Start with, ask the Jew. In our line relationship, we are very closely related to the religion of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. Three are related, very close. If Moses was alive with us, and if you asked him, Oh Moses, what is your religion? I do not expect him to say Judaism. Because this word Judaism is not in his Torah, is not in his Talmud, is not in his Mithra, is, is nowhere to be found. In Jewish literature, the word Judaism is not to be found. You see, it's a concocted word, concocted word. But if Moses was alive and if you asked him, what is your religion? He would say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. A lengthy definition. But one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means a religion of total submission to God's will. If Jesus was alive with us today, or in his second coming, if we have a chance to meet him, and if we ask him, so, oh Jesus, what is your religion? We do not expect him to say Christianity. Because if he says Christianity, we can ask him, what church you belong to, sir? Are you a Roman Catholic or an Anglican or a Presbyterian or a Lutheran or a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> silly, silly you would say. It's a silly thing to ask Jesus. I expect him to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. Lengthy definition. One word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. This is what he came to teach. But if the people, his followers, they took his religion off the rails, actually Paul, they are all following Paul. They are not following Jesus. If they follow Jesus, they will be Muslims. See, because Jesus was teaching them nothing but Islam. The Father in heaven, worship him. They start worshiping Jesus. See, this is not his teaching. As the Quran tells us, testifies on the day of judgment, Allah will ask him, Oh Jesus, did you tell your people to worship you and your mother besides Allah? They said, Oh my, Allah, oh my Lord, you know I never did any such thing. As long as I was with them, I was a watcher over them to see that they never did any such blasphemy. But after you took me up, you know what they did. So, in ibaduka. So if you punish them, they are your servants. But if you forgive them, you are exalted in might, you are wise. In your wisdom, you can do what you please. But the religion of Jesus was Islam and he was a Muslim. In the Garden of Gethsemane, you read in the Bible that he went there and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed to God. He made the sujood and prayed to God, said, Oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass away from me. But not as I will, but as thou wilt. One word for that, not as I will, but as thou wilt, is a Muslim. I have submitted my will to the will of Allah. Jesus was a Muslim and his religion was Islam.